So water's how it happens. And this trench above me is for when there's a lot of water that happens on the hillside and it can be managed instead of just being eroded away. It gets, uh, it's from over here, it's diverted to where it comes all the way back over here. And then it drops down and it goes to there and then it comes over this way. And in the summertime, I've got to augment it, right? And so we have a garden hose running all the way down over there on the other side of the log cabin. And every couple weeks, even in the summertime, uh, that's all I need to do, is I turn the water on down there and I let it run for a few hours. So I was uh, just taking a break inside, and so now I've come back up here. And so I'm uh, checking to see if, I, I've tried, I think I've been two and a half hours so I'm going to see how far this water has made it now. And what it does here is it just hits on the hill and then water goes downhill. And that's the way water works. You know? Kind of makes sense, right? And then here in like these little areas here, I just made like a little bit of a dripper. And then what that does is it feeds the tree right below it. And it looks like it could actually use a little bit more of a dripper. So what we do is we just open it up a little bit more. All right, we just open this up a little bit more. And more water flows down onto the spot where you want it to flow. But where most of it just keeps on keeping on. And... Some trees didn't make it, uh, so what we'll do is we'll use this space for um, other trees to be planted, right? And a couple, you know, a couple of the trees they didn't they didn't make it, but but these trees they were um, they they were out of the ground for a while before I got them planted, and so it was a little questionable as to how much was going to transplant but as you can see some of them are doing just fine and that makes me happy so the water just keeps on going downhill and I'm building a forest here right, out in the desert because why not I got bored with the standard American dream of Trying to just make a bunch of money. Then, like, look right here. We're gonna see if we can do this without making the phone flip around. But we're gonna cut a little trench right over to this hole. So that way it extends the water <clears throat> into another area a little bit more, right? a stick because <laughs> my finger isn't as strong as a stick sometimes so all right so that's just going to give it a little bit more water more trees that have made it and a couple more trees that have said nope sorry bro you didn't do a good enough job for me to stick around but water just keeps on going downhill and it seems like these areas that I have that hold a little bit more water you know this is really nice because uh, the, the desert floor out here is hot <laughs> I mean my my feet were kind of burning you know come walking up here so what do we got how far 
order to make it. Has it made it all the way? It's made it almost all the way. So it looks like three hours would be like the perfect amount of time uh, to water all these trees. Anyway, yeah, so that's, that's one of the things I work on today. That's how we can manage uh, water. And, you know, I mean, because when it rains here, it, it rains really hard. And if the ground doesn't have these modifications to it, it just runs across. Contributes to erosion and drought and flooding. But when we can uh, hold the water to the land, it, it reduces a lot of those things. And it didn't really take that long. I mean, like, you know, me and one other person did most of this in, I don't know, maybe six or seven hours. You know, we, we cut cut all the trenches and moved, moved quite a bit of dirt and dug some holes and planted some trees. And we didn't even have any specialized equipment, you know, just a pickaxe and a shovel and our desire to create something beneficial instead of just uh, consuming, you know, what the culture has available for us. Anyway, I'm going to take that rock out of there because it doesn't need to be in there. And maybe that would make these, uh, gosh, that's hot. <laughs> that ground is really hot. No wonder these trees are, some of them had said, screw you, dude. I'm not sticking around here. I don't, I don't live out in the desert, but if you, if you give me enough water, if you treat me right, I'll be willing to grow for you and then we can provide some shade and have, I'll run my roots really deep and we can, uh, we can make this work. But we got to work together. I think that's what we're here for. I think that's what man is on the planet here to do because, I mean, if, if we weren't here, it would actually probably be a better place for the animals but since we are here we should be able to make it a better place for everyone and when we get foods and diversity growing where it hasn't grown in the past or at least the past few thousand years since events have uh, caused our landscapes to be an eroded landscape because really, I think if I think if people were here for millions of years, or even tens of thousands of years before you and I are playing on YouTube right now, um, I think that they didn't have the TV to be watching and the fat food to be consuming, and the, they they were probably recognizing that if they held the water to the land, that they wouldn't have to go so far to gather berries have shade for tree, from trees so anyway I think by the time I get back down to the log cabin uh, this will be getting the water that it would like to have and as it uh, fills up these trenches here you know it's soaking down too and where it's soaking down it hasn't yet really started benefiting the area below it, but, but it will, you know, I trust that when we do things, if we do them with intention, when we do them based on uh, knowing uh, cause and effect models, I mean, this is a pretty good little amount of water here, I mean, this is a, this is a bathtub full of water, and it's, <laughs> I'm sinking, like, a, a good eight inches into this soil. So I know that this is holding on to a lot of water right now.